a real life fairy tale. She's Miss Utah. He's a BYU football player about to be drafted into the NFL. But this love story didn't come without some serious and embarrassing trials. Dan Rescone joins us live with the story. A lot of juggling going on for this couple. Yeah, right you now. could say that their minds are a little scrambled right now, Mark <laughs> and Shana. Tomorrow is the start of the NFL draft, which means the two are on pins and needles right now, wondering what team is going to pick up Kyle. Then there's also the wedding to worry about, which is just one month away. A typical uh -oh. young couple in love enjoying a competitive foosball game. All right. I hate this game. As you look a little closer, Blocked. this is no ordinary couple <laughs> set to get married. <laughs> this is former Miss Utah Marissa Powell. <laughs> All right, next point. And six foot three and a half inch, 245 pound BYU linebacker, Kyle Van Oort. Come on. <laughs> Did you marry your Prince Charming here? I have. He's and I, everything and yeah, more. And I found my queen, so we're good. The marriage date is set for June 7th <laughs> at the LDS Temple in Salt Lake City. That's just one month after the NFL draft. Hopefully it's May 8th. That's the first round. When Kyle will find out which of the 32 NFL teams will choose him. Anywhere warm. Some possibilities, San Diego Chargers and the Detroit Lions. I'm ready to play at the highest level and um, I'm ready to get paid. How about you swing with me? Kyle and Marissa's love story started about three years ago. I've always been too big for things. Oh, come on. Before the two were so well known. But was this a surprise that you would be marrying a football player? You know, initially, <laughs> Initially meeting him, I, I was a little bit. No, you ditched uh, me the first time you um, met me. <laughs> uh, well, I just, I wasn't sure. But that quickly changed. The first date, I was like, okay, he's really cool. And I really connect with him. Marissa would later become Miss Utah. <laughs> Kyle would become a leading force with BYU football. In June of last year, Marissa was at the top of her game. It was unreal. She made it to the third runner up in the Miss USA pageant, but she's remembered for her convoluted answer to the question about women making less money than men. I think we can re relate this back to education and how we are continuing. To the first couple of days, I was feeling so down. I just didn't even want to get out of bed. I didn't want to see anybody. And I was getting some pretty rotten messages. Thank you. Thank you, Utah. It's a feeling Kyle could relate to. Heralded linebacker Kyle Van Noy was arrested on suspicion of DUI. He sat out his freshman year at BYU for an honor code violation that got national media attention. I felt for her and she kind of recognized that, that I understood. And I was probably the only person that kind of understood where she was coming from. Kyle proposed to Marissa after she gave up the crown to the next Miss Utah. I was completely surprised. Giving her the perfect ring. Yeah, yeah. he nailed it. The two say their trials Woo! <laughs> have strengthened the relationship. It's not all about winning. It's not all about being perfect all the time. Sometimes you make mistakes, sometimes you fall, but you really have to rely on God, your family, and the people around you who are gonna lift you up and pick you up. That was hard. <laughs> Now the first round draft picks will occur tomorrow with the second and third round on Friday. Once Kyle is picked, he says he could be on a plane as early as that night or the next day. He says he will then fly in for the wedding and then he will have to report back to training camp there later on. So the honeymoon will actually have to wait until July. So a lot of things going on in their life right now. You can only imagine what's happening right now with them because tomorrow's a big day with the draft. And they're so cute. It almost doesn't seem <laughs> yeah. real, but they are really genuine people. You know, that's what I really found here. A lot of yeah. times people will look at them and say, oh, they're just a perfect everything and everything's going great. But they're really down to earth type folks and just, I mean, especially they're very funny and just, you know, just really having a good time. So. Life is good for them right yes, now. Yes, it yeah. really is. So. It <laughs> might not be if he gets hurt on that on that trampoline. trampoline. Yeah, I got a little <laughs> nervous when he got on that trampoline. Then the story would have taken a whole different <laughs> exactly. turn. He's going to follow up that's, tomorrow. That story's tomorrow. Yeah. Okay, Dick. Thank you.